Hey friends, how are you doing? Good to see you back again for another story. Um, I've got my puppy dog sleeping beside me. She's going to listen to. So I hope you enjoy this one. And the story I chose today is one of my favorites from when my kids were little. And it's called Where Do Balloons Go by Jamie Lee Curtis. And you're, if you're a grown-up friend, you'll recognize the name of that author. Yeah, it's the same one. You probably didn't know she had another career as a children's author, so that's pretty cool. So this story is about what happens to a balloon when we let it go on a windy day like today, where it's, the wind is blowing, it's nice and springy outside. Um, but not only where do the balloons go, but just... What are, what are the answers to those big questions in life? That's really what this story is all about. So I hope you enjoy this book as much as I do. Where do balloons go? Where do balloons go? An uplifting mystery. Where do balloons go when you let them go free? It can happen by accident. It's happened to me. Where do they go when they float far away? Do they ever catch cold and need somewhere to stay? Do they keep going up? Can they ever just stop? I'm sure that they're always convinced that they'll pop. Maybe caught up in wires, pushed by the breeze, poked by tall buildings, or tangled in trees. Are they always alone? Do they meet up in pairs? Do they ever get married and make balloon heirs? Do they ever write postcards, email, or fax? Do they ever just let down their strings and relax? Maybe they're better away from the smog, being twisted by clowns, or chased by my dog. But floating so high without worries or cares, don't they miss birthdays, parties, and fairs? Where do balloons go? What's really up there? As far as I see, it's just sky and air. Do they tango with airplanes or cha-cha with birds? Can plain balloons read balloons printed with words? If one's loose in Norway and one's in Tibet and one in Alaska and Massachusetts and one in Bolivia, England, and France. Do they all meet up high for a big balloon dance? Do some go so far that they'll end up in space? Do they challenge the rockets to float them a race? And what if the leader gets close to the sun? We know rubber melts. That wouldn't be fun. Then does it get quiet? Do the stars give a shove and send it on high to that place up above? 
Does it float there forever, remembering me? And know that I'm happy that it's floating free? Where do balloons go? It's a mystery, I know. So just hold on tight till you have to. Let go. Well, friends, I hope you liked that story. It's one of my truly favorite bedtime stories ever to read to my kids when they were little, and I'm so glad that I got to share it with you. And like I mentioned before, it's a story about balloons, but it's really a story about the big questions in life. So I wondered, what are your big questions in life? What are you wondering about these days? I brought along my sleepy puppy. This is Adelaide. Can you say hello? She really just wants to go lay down and take a nap, but she might have some questions that she thinks of later. What are your big questions in life, Addie? I think her main question is, when's dinner? That's her biggest question. That's what she always wants to know. When's dinner and when's nap time? So Adelaide and I will see you next week uh, for another story, but in the meantime, let me know what your big questions are. If mom and dad allow, you can always write a comment down below. Um, and tell me what your questions are, whether you're watching this on Facebook or on YouTube, it doesn't matter. And I'd love to see what you're thinking about. So have a great weekend, and hopefully I'll get to see you soon. Bye, guys.